it's candy welcome back to my channel harriet is scratching on my chair which she's not supposed to do but she's very happy today because mom has the day off yeah and i just had a one doctor's appointment today and now i'm home all day that's the washing machine you better go figure out what it is get down so I'm catching up on chores today because I don't have time for anything anymore, it seems like. And I hate that. My hair is a little crazy. But I thought we'd do a little chatty get ready with me while my laundry that's actually done already sits on my bed. You know, uh, I do got uh, some trouble spots on my nose. I had a like pimple on my nose and I kept playing with it because I'm a jerk to my face. She doesn't want to get down. <laughs> Sissy, sis, do you want to sit on the desk while mom does her makeup? Well, you can't sit right there, though, okay? Okay? Her's just happy I'm here. Because, like, I've been coming home from work and just kind of, ugh. it's 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 rough some days, I'm not going to lie. Um... It's a lot of at the counter and then taking time when I can to uh, do the back office stuff. So I get tired. Uh, last night on my way home, I picked up Mod Pizza. If you have not tried their cauliflower crust, highly recommend. Very, very good. Uh, for $12, I believe it is, you get an 11 inch pizza and you can put whatever you want on it. Like they have a whole list of ingredients and because I can't eat, well, no, it's not that I can't, okay? I choose not to eat citrus, tomatoes, uh, things with a lot of histamines in them because they make me feel gross. Um, I'm trying to stay away from gluten as much as possible. Again, because it makes me feel gross. Um, so the stomach issues that I was having a while ago have sort of subsided because... I'm being better about what I eat. I'm just being more careful and, you know, avoiding foods that I know kind of trigger me to feel yucky. So, you know, that's that's what we're doing. Um, plus, I think being more active and things like that have helped quite a bit. Um, I weighed in yesterday morning and since I started my job, I've lost 50 pounds. And it all comes down to just like <laughs> being happier in life and being more active at my job. And, you know, kind of not dieting, but I have a smaller breakfast, which I eat in my car on the way to work. Hey, hey. That's my hard drive. Please don't kill that. Um, and then I take a salad and a piece of fruit for lunch. And then I just kind of do whatever I feel like for dinner. And, you know, it's really been working out for me. Um, I have my one coffee a day and then I drink water the rest of the day. It's just about, like, having time and energy. I know that if I, like ate something heavier for lunch that I would feel like crap at work and I don't want that. I want to be at my best for my customers and for my coworkers. So, you know, that's what I'm doing. Uh, what I put on my face is Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Hydrating Juice. I don't remember where I got this, probably like BoxyCharm or uh, FabFitFunBox, one of those two. It's not something I bought myself. She's just over here just chilling. Um, so I'm going to do my makeup and we'll catch up a little bit. Uh, I want to shoot some videos today. I got to tell you guys a little bit about my boyfriend. Uh, some of you have been asking. Uh, his name is Cody. He's very nice. <laughs> He's in his 30s. He lives up near Seattle. So we try to get together like every other weekend. Uh, by the way, someone asked me 
what the color of this Too Faced Peach Concealer is. Uh, this is the color Petal. Harriet, can you please be a good girl right now? There we go. There's what the bottom of it says. <laughs> She's just insanity today. Um, so yeah, we met four years ago this month, actually. We met on Reddit. <laughs> um, strange place to meet, I know, but we just started messaging each other. Uh, he messaged me first, and... We became friends and then he got into a relationship and so we just remained friends just talking every once in a while and then I'd say about six months ago he was out of that relationship and you know we started talking more often and about different stuff and realized we kind of have similar interests and so we met up and hung out and like two months later or so um, we started dating so it's it's nice it's nice to have someone to hang out with and share some of my free time with um, he takes the train to come see me and I go see him my biggest scheduling conflict is that I work on Saturdays most of the time. I only get like one Saturday off a month. And uh, <clears throat> so that kind of cuts down on my free time. Because like today is a Wednesday and I have it off. I don't know if I already said, but I went for my mammogram this morning. My first mammogram. Uh, because I turned 40 this year. So I had to go have my first one. That was an uncomfortable situation. They have you stand in all these like weird positions and they like pull your skin and like shove you into things and it didn't like hurt per se like there wasn't pain it was just uncomfortable plus someone else is like moving your boobs around like if I do it fine I do it all the time I like put my hand in my bra and make them go where I want them to go but someone else doing it is just a little weird but they're a medical professional, so it's fine. So, did that this morning. Anyway, um, so for 4th of July, I went up to his house and stayed for a couple nights. And we went on a date for pho. Pho, pho, I'm not sure how to say it. I, you know, don't know. But it was my first time having it, and it was really good. Harriet. <laughs> Sis, do you like the light? Crazy cat. Um, so yeah, we did that and like I got to his apartment and he had got me some cute little lilies from Trader Joe's and some grapefruit wine, which was really good. Uh, so much so that we went to Trader Joe's on Monday when I left, because it was 4th of July weekend. I had Monday off. And uh, I got some more in my fridge right now I haven't drank it I haven't been drinking as much because I like to drink on a day that I've had the day off and then have the next day off too but I rarely if ever have two days off in a row okay I'm sorry but that's why you have to get down are you sad about it okay get down babe good girl I don't know where Athena is. She's somewhere. Doing something. Probably probably watching us from a corner somewhere and judging us because that's what she does. Um, but yeah, he he's really cool. Uh, he's a security guard and he just is a nice guy. And that's really weird for me because as most of you know, I've been I had been in an on-again, off-again relationship with someone who was super toxic for me and mentally manipulative and abusive and this feels really strange and different <laughs> so it's you know it's something I guess I'm having a hard time sometimes being like is this real is he just like playing a joke on me <laughs> like 
Does he actually like me? What is this? So I'm trying not to get into that mindset of I'm going to break up with him before he breaks up with me type of thing. But like, we don't have fights or anything. So it's... I'm just crazy in the head. Which is fine, I guess. But yeah, it's going well. <laughs> um, yeah, so like, I feel like my life is on, in a really good spot right now. Which is why I'm so angry at myself for allowing that abusive ex that I talked about before to come back in my life and sort of wreak havoc. Uh, I thought, oh, we can be friends. And it's not Roger, just so we're clear. Uh, I thought, oh, we could be friends. It'll be fine. No. I somehow got involved in his drama. And I don't want to be there. Don't like it. Battery's dying. I'll be right back. Okay. So I say that I, like, got involved in his drama, like, he involved me in it. I fully involved myself. I am not going to say that I wasn't part of it. I agreed to help, and I should not have. And it took a stern talking to from a friend, Miss Brittany, to remind me what a terrible person he was. And to stop making the same mistake over and over and over again. Because I'm not dumb. I'm just dumb. <laughs> no, I, I, it's not me being dumb. It's just me, like, wanting to help someone, feeling bad for them when it's not my place to do so. And so I need to be better about that. So I sent this person a text and I said, you know, while I really care about you and want you to improve your life, I can't be the person to help you do that because I have my own life to take care of and I don't have the mental capacity to be that person for you. I try to say it very nicely and... He did not take it well, but that's not my problem because I spoke, god dang, I keep dropping stuff today. That's not my problem because he took it how he wanted to take it. I said what I needed to say and you know, it is what it is. So that's where I'm at. If you, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen me going through, going through this. The other day it happened on Saturday I saw my nephews on Sunday and it kind of made me realize that I don't need that kind of stuff in my life and uh, Monday was a rough day for me because I just kept thinking about the situation over and over again and it was not not good for me and I talked to Cody on the way home and I was like listen I just don't think I can <clears throat> be there for this person like what do you think I should do and he's like well I'm not gonna give you advice on this because this is your own thing if you want to help this person help this person if it's not good for you don't do it and he's so awesome about crap like that like he's so like level-headed just wants what's best for me and so I decided that I had to send a message. I didn't want to just ghost the person and just like disappear on them. But I had to send a message to be like, I'm sorry I can't be there for you and this isn't good for me and it's not good to have you in my life. So I wish you the best, you know, crap like that. And it felt shitty. But sometimes you gotta do shit like that for yourself. It's just got to be for you. And in the past like year-ish, I've been really focusing on taking care of myself and not trying to take care of everyone around me. While also being there as much as I can to help people, 
but not at the detriment of myself, if that makes sense. And so it's part of me growing and being who I want to be and, you know, using my life to its full potential. And it is what it is and I'm not going to apologize for it. I'm not hurting anyone. I'm just not there at their beck and call all the time. Which is not a good place for me to be anyway. It's not my job. Take care of yourself. It's exactly how I feel about my old job. Like, I have done everything I can to try to train this person. If they're not getting it by now, it's not my problem anymore. I don't work there. I don't get paid from there. I'm not gonna waste my days off, my precious free time to save someone else's business. I'm just not gonna do it. It's a new attitude. It may not be the perfect attitude, but it's working for me right now. Been saying it is what it is a lot. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just is what it is. There we go. Should put some lipstick on today since I don't have to wear a mask because I'm at home. Not sure this is the best color for me. Kind of makes me look like I was out in the cold for too long. <laughs> Let's let that dry a little bit. See if we can't put a nice topper on it. Oh, I'm also not going to be moving um, really anytime soon. Oh, where's that one really nice topper that I have? Um, I want to wait a little bit for multiple reasons where's that fun one uh multiple reasons number one hold on i want to find this i have a really fun topper i thought i had it in here yeah there it is Uh, so what I have on my lips is Liquid Katsu by um, uh, Wet n Wild. Their Mega Last uh, Liquid Katsu in Bud Romance. And what I'm going to put on top is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Glow Lip Gloss in Amethyst. Uh, so anyway, what was I talking about? Not moving yet. Um, I just want to let the housing market calm the F down a little bit and see if I can get myself off of Roger's mortgage and maybe get myself a place. And sort of my goal is to be divorced by the end of the year, we'll see. Uh... My new job has a six month probation period, so I can't get medical for six months, which is a long time. And the current insurance I have doesn't offer like Cobra stuff. So I gotta figure that out. So we're getting there, <laughs> we're getting there. Alright, so I put amethyst on top of that. It's real pretty. I like it. Yeah, so th that's where I'm at in life in general. Um, <clears throat> things are like a-okay and I just am having a good time. So it is what it is. <laughs> She's laying on my clean jeans. That's my load of jeans. 
Are you happy, sis? Are you happy? She's like, stop talking to me, lady. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm hoping that I'm going to shoot some more videos today. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.